Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make this sweet smelling chlorobutanol. Um, it's a pretty easy synthesis, it's a pretty interesting chemical, and has a nice smell to it. People say it smells like camphor. Um, it's an antibiotic, it has antibiotic properties, fungicidal properties, it's used as a preservative in medicine. Um, it's a weak local anesthetic, you can put it on your tongue and it'll make your tongue numb for a couple seconds. Um, also, if you take it, a relatively small amount, it'll apparently sedate you for a couple hours, and uh, it's pretty easy to make. It's fun, it's rewarding, I'll show you how to make it. What you want to do is measure 90 milliliters of acetone. Put the acetone in the freezer and wait for about half an hour till it cools down. Once your acetone is cooled, add 10 milliliters of chloroform. Add one gram of sodium hydroxide as a catalyst. You must stir the mixture. You'll notice the liquid will become cloudy and yellow colored. Sodium hydroxide is some hard stuff. Now you can see the liquid starting to become opaque. Now put it back in the fridge, stirring periodically every 30 minutes for two hours. Stir. Stir. Stir again. And stir one final time. After your two hours, place it on the stove and turn it on low to evaporate off the acetone. Keep going. Okay, and there we go. Pour your concentrated liquid into cold water. Off your solution. Make sure all of your product is in a clean filter now. Ice cold water. Rinse again with cold water. One more time. You can see there's still a bit of product in here. It won't come out. Here is your final product, and you can see the crystals. The powder is a lot cleaner now that we've washed it multiple times. And once it's dry, you're ready to store it.